Going to be checking out some new offerings from the folks over at Monogram International. This is the Monogram International Horror Properties. To be also a little bit more exact, this is the Horror Properties Figural Key Rings Series 3. Now, if memory serves me correctly, which it doesn't always, I think I had a look at Series 1, but unfortunately didn't get a chance to have a look at Series 2, so that might be something I'm going to try to go back and redo and pick those up for you guys. But in the meantime, here's some new offerings from Monogram International. This is the Horror Properties Series 3, some pretty cool characters, one would have to admit, inside this release. Well, specifically, each one of these only get one per bag. You only get one inside. But those figures consist of, there's Pennywise the Clown from the new It, there's Georgie, there's Annabelle Dahl, Freddy Krueger, a sacked Jason Voorhees, Reagan from The Exorcist, uh, there's Beetlejuice, Jack, a twin, exclusive A and exclusive B. Now exclusive B, looking at it, looks like it might bear some striking resemblance to perhaps Jack, so maybe we might get a frostbitten um, Jack, that might be pretty cool. And of course, of course, as well, exclusive A, looks like it is a variation to Pennywise the Clown. Uh, the twin also could technically work as the other twin, so if you, if you manage to get two of these, bingo bango, you've got yourself the two twins. Um, or I guess I wonder if it may be a case where you flip it around, which we've seen before with Monogram doing that. And I don't know, I'm trying to remember whether it was Tweedledee and Tweedledum had the flipping uh, two-faced, two-sided piece. Either way, though, if you want to check out some other cool collectibles, make sure you head over to www.monogramdirect.com. That's the website you can go to. Check out some really cool figural key rings. Also, if you want to check out some more figural key rings, I know I usually say this at the very end of the review, make sure as well you head over to my uh, Monogram International playlist. It will show you every single case, and I usually do these by cases, every single case that I've done for Monogram. So, Without further ado, let's get this review started. I am super excited. Just so happens I'm a big horror buff. So yeah, this, this one's a no brainer for me. And the first one we're gonna have a look at is Beetlejuice. Now what's interesting about this Beetlejuice is it's not the normal striped clad Beetlejuice that we normally have seen. Instead, this one is the one in the red tuxedo. That's pretty cool. It's got a slightly smaller head. It still has the Beetlejuice trademark slime all over the head. And uh, you got that little key ring s attached itself into Beetlejuice's noggin. Don't worry, he's dead, so he won't feel it. Um, really nice looking piece. I kind of have to admit that I do like the striped Beetlejuice just a little bit more, but it's nice that we get different offerings. And with these more, with the properties expanding, and Monogram doing more and more of the horror properties, maybe we might get additional characters, like Lydia, for example, from the Beetlejuice movie. Good way to start. Okay, so let's go to bag number two. If memory serves me correctly, and I know I always say this, I'm old, so it doesn't always, it sometimes fails me. I think there are 24 of these per case, 24 individual bags, which you currently can find at your local comic book stores, retail stores, and uh, Hot Topic also sells these as well. Uh, next one we have here is Reagan from uh, The Exorcist. It, this one would have been really cool as a variation, an exclusive A and exclusive B, or one of those two, which would have had the more grotesque looking Reagan, or even like the original uh, Reagan. Uh, there's the back of her right there. Very conjointed. The only thing missing really is her bed and a whole bunch of bleah, vomit coming out of her mouth. That's disgusting. A really neat looking release though. The power of Christ compels you. No, apparently it doesn't work on a figural key ring. The key ring, this one feels a little bit heavier just by the amount of additional material that they used to make it. Still, you've got the key ring looped through the noggin, or at least not through the noggin, but through the little loophole there on the top. And there's Regan, looking very good. I always seem to kind of bounce back and forth between calling her Reagan and calling her Regan, so I do apologize for that in advance. Let's go ahead and cut out, cut open bag number three. I'm really looking forward to getting a Jack, and sure enough, here's Johnny. There he is right there with axe in hand. Oh, this is so cool. 
we don't really get a whole lot of Jack releases from The Shining, so that's really cool when we do get that opportunity. It looks like he is sporting a little bit of a 3 o'clock shadow, going a little crazy. No work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. It looks like he's already used his axe for somebody. Very, very cool. Now again, if you like, look at the shape. Like, look at the shape here, look at the shape here. Does it not look a little bit like perhaps we may get ourselves another Jack in here? I'm hoping, holding out hope, that it's just like this mold, but, uh, you know, covered in, maybe just cast in blue plastic or the blue uh, material that they use here. I think it's actually a rubber material. But if they did that like in a bluish tint, making it look like, or even if they kind of give him a, like a frosted look, made him look as if he was frostbitten, that would be super cool. Oh, I love these. Again, I'm, I have a soft spot for horror, what can I say? Uh, let's go ahead and open up bag number four. And we've got ourselves a Freddy Krueger. A rather interesting Freddy Krueger because this one here is Freddy sans la hat. He has no hat whatsoever. What he does, however, have is the pointed ears and the very devilish smile. I'm wondering if this is demonic Freddy from Freddy vs. Jason. I don't think it is, but what kind of gave me that light, slight indication was the pointed ears. But I, he would be a light, little, little bit darker in color. He wouldn't be as light as this. So simply, we just have ourselves a bald Freddy. That's pretty cool. Um, hey, also, you know, I'm doing a little bit of deducing here. One can't help but notice he doesn't have the glove. What he does, however, have is this, the blades sticking out from his hand. So perhaps this may be Fre uh, Freddy's Revenge Freddy from Nightmare on Elm Street Part 2. Which so happens to be one of my favorite Nightmare on Elm Street. It's just FYI. I don't know why it is I like Nightmare on Elm Street Part 2 so much. It's just so drastically different from the others. But it's it's a lot easier to come up with my least favorite Nightmare on Elm Street than it is picking my favorites. Nightmare on Elm Street uh, Part 4 is my favorite, Dream Master. But I do think this is Part 2 Freddy, just again by the fact that he's got the, the blades sticking out of his fingers. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so let's put them over here. I mean, really, you could base the entire line, I mean, or subsequent lines of the Horror Properties figures, if you did Series 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, you could really just have each wave have a new Jason and a new Freddy Krueger. Ironically enough, i just noticing this now, Jason Voorhees is the sack Jason from Part 2. It would be somewhat ironic, then, that Freddy Krueger is also from uh, Nightmare on Elm Street Part 2. Uh, Freddy's Revenge. So we have part two here. I would have to go back and have a look at part one and part two, or the series one and series two, to see if maybe we had gotten already a series one Freddy, a F Nightmare on Elm Street one Freddy, and a Friday 13th part one. I guess it really wouldn't be part one because that would be Pamela Voorhees. Interesting that these are both, I'm thinking, from part two. Let's go ahead and open up bag number five. We're already into bag five here. And we've got one of the two twins. Come play with us, Danny. Come play with us. So really, this would be an ideal situation. If you got more than one of these, you instantly have yourself the two, the, 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 twi the twins. The only thing missing is the River of Blood. That's odd. The River of Blood usually gets off on the second floor. I think it's the second floor. Um, Simpsons shinning reference. Uh, nice looking piece here. I love how they've kind of uh, given the bags around the eyes, the darkened areas around the eyes. A little bit of reflection also in the eyeballs. There's the back of her right there. Debunking the theory that the twin was on both sides. It's only a single-sided release here. And we'll put her over there. This may potentially be also a hard wave to pick my top three, which is something I always do. I pick my top three favorites. And sure enough, we've got ourselves the other twin. Come play with us, Danny. Just standing in the middle of the hallway right there. Blank stare on their faces. Shining also so happens to be my favorite horror movie of all time. I don't know if you know this or not. I'm giving a lot of information in this review. Shining is of my top, it is my top 10, definitely my top 10 favorite movies of all time. 
And of horror, fi uh, horror films, it's probably within my top, I would say it's my top five, top three even. I love The Shining. I will say, you know, I'm going to, you can quote me on this. The Shining is my favorite horror movie of all time. I can't even think, I'm trying to think of one that would would top that. I, I'm drawing a blank, I'm drawing a blank. Here we have another, again, I'm going to assume Freddy's Revenge Freddy. Very cool. We only need really Jesse. You give him that silly looking hat and we just dance around his room and hitting his butt against the side of the dresser. What was all that about? Let's open up bag number, where are we on this? Well, this is, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm so busy talking about horror films. I'm excited for this line. I'm losing track of where I am. Here we have Georgie. Georgie. You want your boat? Take it, take it, take it. That is a, that is a creepy remake. It. Really good movie. Looking forward to the sequel. There's Georgie. Georgie. Still has an arm. He's he's okay right now. He's floating his boat. Running into hazard signs. <laughs> Wham! There's Georgie. Oh, poor Georgie. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> it had to happen. I mean, obviously, he's... They're not going to rewrite that part. They're not going to change that part for the remake. And uh, we got ourselves another Georgie. Now, it would be somewhat sick if they had actually put an, another exclusive in here in which it would have been post-Georgie. Pre-Georgie, before you know he's floating his boat down the, down the stream, everything's happy-go-lucky, doesn't come across Pennywise yet, and then this would be after. This would be post-encounter with Pennywise. And, well, we know how well that, that worked out. Okay. So, let's move all the stuff out of the way. Try to, our best to free up space over here. I don't want a whole bunch of clutter happening. Let's see what we got going on in here. Oh, look at this. Oh, that's neat. I believe, I'm looking at it, I think that's a glow-in-the-dark Pennywise. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm going to have to see if I can get that to glow in the dark. Hold on one second. Well, the answer to that is a very pleasant yes. Look how bright the Pennywise glows in the dark. It also so happens to work well that he's got the blood around his mouth that doesn't glow in the dark because it does show up quite well. You can even see his eyes. That is extremely creepy. How cool is that? We got ourselves a glow in the dark Pennywise. Let's put him right over there and resume with, we're about halfway over now. Let's bring the camera up a little bit about halfway across the case opening here and let's keep going we've got ourselves inside this bag another Beetlejuice there he is right there and let's grab the next bag one of my favorites might so far be that Pennywise that's pretty cool and we got ourselves an Annabelle I have to come clean, I only just recently saw the sequel of Annabelle, or I guess the, it would have been the second Annabelle, but it would have been the prequel to, I'm trying to think of how that, it was the prequel, Annabelle was the prequel, the second one was the prequel to the first Annabelle, if that is correct, it just seems, yeah that's right, because, okay, I'm not going to give away any spoilers, but needless to say, I just recently watched the second Annabelle, which I did quite enjoy. I like how it kind of paired itself up with the first one at the end of the second one. That's confusing. Anyways, a nice looking Annabelle looks extremely scary looking. Very big smile and bright blue eyes on Annabelle here. There's the back of the figure. Uh, one of the other figures, actually, you know what? Let me know down below what future characters you'd like to see in the horror properties figural key rings. One of the neat ones I think would have been like the Conjuring uh, Nun, the Evil Nun I think would have been really cool. Got ourselves another Regan. Just backward. So we got now two Regans. Let's see where we've left off by the way. So we, we haven't gotten ourselves Pennywise. Oh, sorry, I shouldn't be pointing with my knife. We haven't gotten a Pennywise yet, but we did get Georgie, Annabelle Doll, Freddy Krueger, 
We still have yet to get Jason Voorhees. We do have Regan, Beetlejuice, Jack, and a twin, and we got ourselves an exclusive A. So the only one we haven't gotten yet are Pennywise, Sack, Jason Voorhees, and exclusive B. And then we can call this a day. We can close up shop. You guys can go off to the library and you know, have crossword battles with your friends. Isn't that what you guys do nowadays when you're younger? No? What am I talking about? I don't know. Uh, in answer to my question before that I posed, I was wondering where, where is he, where is he, where is he, right there. I was wondering what the exclusive B was going to be like, and I said it would be cool if it was like a blue tint. Go ahead, go look at, you know, rewind the video if you want. I did say that. Now this one doesn't have the axe, mind you, but there's poor Jack, frostbitten. Please don't say, dude, don't give away spoilers. The movie is old. You probably should have seen do yourself a favor, you should have definitely seen The Shining by now. It's one of the greatest movies of all time. Like I said, it's one of my favorite horror movies, if not my favorite horror movie of all time. That's pretty cool, again, that translucent Jack. I wonder if he goes in the dark. Hmm, let's go find out. Yeah, and uh, Jack does not glow in the dark. However, I don't know if you can see him. Oh, maybe not over there, but Pennywise still glows a very bright green. I guess I really wasn't expecting Jack to glow in the dark. He's just instead a really cool translucent blue. Very cool. I like this one. <laughs> I said cool. I'm here all night. Okay, so let's, uh, how far are we away? We were about, give or take, about 12 away from finishing off the set. And what better way to start and resume after our lack thereof glow in the dark experience with Frozen Jack? Let's have a look at Pennywise. Now, let's compare him to the Pennywise that was from the other one, the glow-in-the-dark one. The mouths are drastically different. They're not simply just the exact same Pennywise. This one also has its arms wide out, spread out, because it wants to give you a hug. This one does not have the hug opened hands, probably for the best. Both are sinister looking, though. I completely fell in love with the design of the Pennywise from the new remake. It looks exceptionally well here uh, from Monogram. Okay, so we'll put those two aside. And let's have a look at the next bag. Still holding out hope for the sack, Jason. And though we didn't get it this go around, we did get ourselves another tw another twin, which I guess by that logic, we now have triplets. Yes, yeah, they were creepy when they were twins. They're even scarier now that they're triplets. Still holding out hope for the sack, Jason. Let's go ahead and open up the next bag. Peeking inside. Hello. Hello. Who's in there? We know who it is. <laughs> I keep thinking. <laughs> I keep thinking about his arm. Uh, this is pre-Georgie, of course. Arm still intact. And his little sailboat. That is now three that we can add to the total collection of what we've opened up so far, leaving us with, how well, many we got left? One, two, three, four, five, and six. Let's see what we got here. Oh, oh, what do we got here? We've got ourselves finally Sack Jason. Jason with his overalls, Jason with a sack, Jason with his eye open. Well, one eye open, I'm assuming the other eye. I don't know what the other eye would be doing. It just would be underneath the sack. I really love this one. Don't get nearly enough credit sack Jason does. I love also the way that they've tied the rope off at the bottom area of his mask. Those overalls are looking mighty swanky, I have to admit. Yeah, so this one, this one will definitely be hitting the top three of my favorites in this release. Now, we have six left. I'm assuming Jason isn't going to be of a limited release. He's got to probably make at least one more appearance over the next five unbaggings. Let's have a look here. We've got ourselves another regular Jack. There we go. And let's grab four left to go. Oh, there we go. There's another Jason. 
I don't know why it was important for me to find a second Jason, but I just wanted to show you guys. Really, one of the benefits of me doing the uncasings like this is it gives me the opportunity to show you guys how many you get per case. So Jason, for example, if you were worried and fretting for a second, holding on to the end of your bedposts, come on, let there be another one, let there be another one. I really want to get sacked Jason, and I don't want to think that he's one per case. It's okay. It's okay, Tommy, you can sit down, you can relax. You've got two Jasons, at the very least, so far, unless we find another Jason in the mix there. Another Jason to add to the mix. And really, I mean, again, like with all of the horror property figures, there's so many characters that they could do. I would love to see an NES Jason. I don't know what the chances of that being with, you know, licensing and stuff like that, but I'd love to see an NES Jason get this treatment fingers crossed. In the meantime, though, we've got ourselves another Pennywise the Clown. <laughs> Creepy looking design. Did you guys like the It remake? I'd like to hear your thoughts down below. Ah, what I'd also like to see is below when you guys finish this video. Let me know, I know I shouldn't be pointing a knife, shouldn't be pointing a knife, but let me know down below what your top three favorite monogram pieces were from this wave. I always like to ask you guys, I like to share and, and, and not debate necessarily, but have a good, thorough, juicy conversation. I do like juicy conversations. Got ourselves another sack, Jason. There he is. Almost dropped him. Whew. That could have been disastrous. And the final bag inside the Horror Properties Figural Key Rings Series 3 from the folks over at Monogram. Let's see what we got. The final bag gives us a good way to wrap up, actually, if you ask me. We got ourselves another Pennywise the Clown. Now, I have to admit, this is going to be a very difficult task coming up with my top three favorites. Oh, I don't need this sort of pressure on my hands. Pennywise definitely will be there. Now, the question is whether Pennywise or glow-in-the-dark Pennywise will make my top three. I think just by virtue of the way that he is looking here in his original outfit, I'm probably going to go with Pennywise. I don't know whether I would say he's my first, my second, or my third favorite, but I'm just going to put him there for the time being. I'm also going to say that Sack Jason probably to no surprise, is going to make that top three list. But again, I'm not really sure whether he gets the gold, whether he gets the silver, or whether he gets the bronze. Now, I tell you where I am on the debate of, I do really like this Freddy Krueger from part two, and I really do also like this Jack. Is it possible, would you guys permit me the granted option of selecting a tie for third? Yes? Thank you. Thank you very much. I would say then that Sack Jason is my favorite. Pennywise is second favorite or silver. And the bronze, I think that for the first time ever on this channel, it may have happened before, I don't know. Uh, we're gonna give the bronze a tie for part two, Freddy, as well as Jack from The Shining. I, I, couldn't, I couldn't go one without the other. It's like going on a picnic and taking one of your children and the other child is just sitting there waiting. He's got sandwiches in his hands. Like, what, what am I doing here? You guys aren't taking me? You got to bring both. Legally, you have to bring both as well. Courts do kind of frown upon leaving your children behind. But I have to take both of them with this journey, on this journey where we're going right now. So in this case, I've got four of my favorites. Let me know down below your three favorites or if you are undis you know if you had a tough time deciding like myself let me know down below your favorites from this case in the meantime if you guys are interested in picking these up for yourself you should be able to find them now at local comic book stores today we were having a look at the monogram horror properties figural key rings and yes we did have a look at entire case mikey i know you do like the entire case openings speaking of entire case openings if you guys want to check out some more monogram case openings, there's a playlist on this channel specifically for that. You could just literally run it and you could just sit down in your bed with a comfy pillow, you know, a little cushion, a little, uh, little blanket, got yourself some hot cocoa. Maybe on this side, you've got yourself a warm soup. Apparently, hot summer days, you don't feel heat, I guess. But uh, there's a playlist. You could basically watch every single uncasing that I've done. 
Also, stay tuned, guys. More videos will be coming your way. If you haven't had a chance to hit that little subscribe button down below, make sure you do so. Many more videos, like I said, will be coming your way. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.